Sideshow in the Salinas community of Las Palmas is under investigation. It also included a high speed chase, two arrests, and two residents were injured. Now the sheriff's office is looking for more witnesses. Here's Action News 8 reporter Christian Balderas live in Las Palmas. Yeah, Dan, I'm standing at the entrance for the gated community of Las Palmas, too, where over 75 people called police to report a sideshow happening right outside their neighborhood. Take a look over here. These are the tire marks left by, by what police say were 40 to 50 cars that were racing and pulling donuts. That led to a violent confrontation between spectators and residents. The gated community of Las Palmas is no stranger to sideshows. Right outside is River Road, which attracts car racers. So this has happened before, but there's never been a crowd attracted. It's just been maybe four or five cars. They do the donuts. Neighbors call the cops. Eventually the police respond and it dissipates. But this time was different. <laughs> At about 10 p.m., police received more than 75 calls as crowds gathered outside this community to shoot fireworks and watch cars race and pull donuts. I felt like kind of scared because what happens if they would come here? Before police arrived, some residents took matters into their own hands and confronted the crowd. It turned violent when officers say a female resident taking a photo of a license plate was attacked by a woman in the car. 20-year-old Danielle Becerra was arrested and faces a felony charge. She had marks, um, internal injuries, we just wouldn't know. She'd been punched several times in the head and had been choked twice. Residents are concerned. They say each time a sideshow happens, police are slow to respond. When I called, they said already 40 people had called and still nothing was happening. But, you know, that's what I was waiting to see the police come and I never saw them come. Sideshow attendees reportedly moved to another part of Salinas after police arrived. Meanwhile, a second arrest of a 17-year-old Greenfield teenager who led police on a high-speed chase. He faces a count of reckless evading of a police officer. In response to those slow response times made by the residents, the Monterey County Sheriff's Office says that it comes down to what resources are readily available in the area. Reporting live in Los Palmas, I'm Christian Balderas, KCBW, Action News 8.